Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show, Expresso. Now, the month of March in South Africa devotes special focus on human rights with today, the 21st of March, a historic moment which will be captured in time as the Artscape honors those who fought for the basic liberties as we now enjoy them, now enshrined in our constitution through their various productions. Now, joining us this morning to tell us all about this is Dr. Marlene LaRue from Artscape, as well as Tasnim Andrews, as well as Nadine McKenzie from the Unmute Dance Company. Good morning. Ladies, so good, good to morning. have you here. Good morning. Happy Human Rights Day. Happy Likewise. Human Rights. It's really fantastic. Well, Dr. Marlene, it's really so good to have you here because every single time we've got you joining us and sitting next to us on the couch here, it's good news from the theatre. It's good news around what you are doing to uplift and highlight and showcase the talents of those who might otherwise go unnoticed, right? Very important also for us to say that we must never forget our past mm. because it is a terrible day what happened years ago on this particular day. And that's why we invested as Artscape through the arts for youth development, but also professional companies like Unmute that brings together young people with disabilities and without disabilities so that we can make visibility um, Disability visible. visible, that is that is human rights as well. So for us, it's important that we don't package mm. human rights just as one aspect, mm. but we cross a, cro cut across what human rights means to everybody. Yeah. But with human rights comes also responsibilities. Yes. And I want to say to Nadine and Unmute in particular, how they have tackled that Disability yeah. must be visible in the theatre. Mm. But also we mustn't forget that young people, it comes with responsibilities, yeah. it's work ethics, it is about being on time, and it's about confidence building, but it's also about giving back to their communities. What I do love about this is that you really are shining the spotlight on change makers through these various productions that the Artscape is staging and putting together. Let's talk about some of these activities before we chat to uh, the ladies here. We also have the visibility of our rural areas portraits. Love that. That's been um, through Manfred Zilla, that's been traveling with us for nearly eight years, wow. like Unmute, where we visited from Sierra, Saron, all over in the communities, taking theater to the people. Yeah. And what we have done is that we have selected with the various municipalities, people that made a difference in their communities without becoming ministers or becoming really the big shots in local government, but have built the communities. So their portraits are hanging now in Artscape to say that your lives do matter. And all lives do matter, which is really fantastic to see that those change makers are ordinary people from various communities who have walked this journey with you, but continue to walk the talk in their communities. Nadine! <laughs> Tell me, why is this platform so, so important uh, that the Artscape, uh, you know, sort of stand for? I think it's for, like Marlene mentioned, young people, young voices. Um, we need so many voices, different voices, um, to represent young people, or well, our community out there at large. Um, we need more representation. And, yeah, with new voices and um, productions especially, um, from dance to, to theatre, you name it, um, it's important to have a variety of, of voices and artists um, to showcase works and to also inspire others to get yeah. more out there as well. Yeah, I love that. And Tasnim, you are of course part of this program. Why was it so important for you to really plough your heart and your talent and your entire being into this? Why does this matter so much to you? Well, I think it just goes back into when everyone says that the youth must take over and, and, it's, and it's all going back to the youth, you know? Mm. Um, like being the youngest of, of the company as yeah. well at the moment, um, you know, it's just taking you going back into the past and bringing out what, what's next, what's coming next, basically. Mm. What are you going to be bringing to the table, Tasnim? I mean, you're very excited about this, of and course. I can see you warming <laughs> up and passing about all across the studio. You have a certain uniqueness, I imagine, that you're going to be bringing to uh, the production. What is it? Well, it's just. Um, uh, can I say, like with the production that we are coming up with, um, with that's coming up now, um, time lapse. It's um, bringing the future to the table, mm. changing lives. Mm. You know, coming 
bring what what you bringing to the table basically so personality I love that. excitement energy Start, all that yeah studying and then Nadine what uniqueness uh, and, and and creativity do you feel that you're going to be plugging into it um just for me it personally storytelling mm. um especially current relevant stories as well um ones that we can all relate to and just Finding connection again, it's been a tough time with COVID yes. where there's been a lot of disconnect in many ways. Um, so this is for us mainly about coming together again and finding, rebuilding those connections. Fantastic. I love this. Look, there's a lot happening at the Artscape Theatre. Dr. Malin uh, LaRue, it's really awesome to have you here. Ladies, I can't wait to see you guys perform for us here and showcasing to us what's going to be happening. And for everybody at home, go on to artscape.co.za for all the information that you need. There is really a plethora of performances and productions that are lined up for you this month. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much.